A is for apple. I like apples. B is for banana. The bananas are yellow. C is for cake. The cake is delicious. D is for duck. It's a duck. E is for elephant. An elephant has a long nose. F is for fish. The fish is swimming. G is for grape. I like to eat grapes. H is for horse. The horse is running fast. I is for ice cream. Ice cream is sweet. J is for juice. It's a glass of orange juice. K is for key. We need a key to open a door. L is for lion. My favorite animal is a lion. M is for monkey. The monkey is swinging in the tree. N is for nose. I smell with my nose. O is for orange. The orange is brown. P is for panda. The panda likes bamboo. Q is for queen. The queen is beautiful. R is for rabbit. The rabbit is jumpy. S is for star. I can draw a star. T is for tiger. I'm afraid of tiger. U is for umbrella. Don't forget to take an umbrella. V is for violin. I can play the violin. W is for watch. Do you have a watch? X is for xylophone. I like the xylophone. Y is for yo-yo. I can play yo-yo. And Z is for zebra. The zebra is so lovely. Hey, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed the alphabet book. I really enjoyed reading that for you, okay? Let's get to our calendar and then we'll go into today's class. So here we see that the month is July. We know that today is Tuesday. And so if we go down on Tuesday, today is the 14th and the year is 2020. So if we put all of that together, today is Tuesday, July 14th, 2020. And so if today is Tuesday, yesterday was Monday and tomorrow will be Wednesday. And so I promise that we're gonna go into the topic of the day. And so it's this title, we call it letter discrimination. And you guys might say, I know the word letter, but discrimination teacher, what does that even mean? So we have a lot of different letters, but there's something that happens because there are some of our letters, you guys, that what? It has things that look the same, but we can get confused. And so what we're gonna do in today's class is that we're going to review the letters, okay? So that what? So that we can get some practice and we can get better at identifying the correct letter. All right, so let's begin. Example number one is the letter N and the letter H, right? So here we have the letter N and the letter H. The next example that we have is the letter T and the letter F. So we have T and F. The next example is the letter J and the letter G, right? So we have the letter J and the letter G. The next example that we have is the letter P and the letter Q. So P and Q. And the last example we have is the letter B and the letter D. So B and D. But there's also three other letters, okay, that we oftentimes get confused with. And so these are three of our vowels. We're gonna go over them really quickly and then we're gonna practice later on. The letter A, right? So this is the letter A for, you see this beautiful apple. The next one that we have is the letter I, right? So I for igloo, so small case I and capital I. And the last one that we have is the letter E. So here we have small case E and capital E for egg, right? So here's what we're gonna do in today's class. We're gonna take a look at these letters and we have to see what? What are the things that are different about them, okay? And that's what's gonna help us tell them apart. All right, so let's start by practicing writing the letter N and the letter H. So we know that N is a 
short letter. So we have the letter N, and then we're gonna have the letter H. And we see that H is a tall letter. Awesome. Next, we're gonna see that the letter T and the letter F are both tall letters. So here we see that T stands tall, and the F was falling asleep, and so we have a little hook. So we have the letter T and the letter all right, so now we're gonna practice the letter J and the letter G. We notice that both of them, what? They're long letters, right? And they have a tail. So let's start with the letter J. We remember that the letter J has a tail and it has a dot on top, so dot. But the letter G has a circle and then it has the tail. So a circle and a tail for G. So here we have J and G. Next we had the letter P and Q. P was the prince, and so we have his line coming down. But because he has to talk to the queen, he has to face towards the queen, and we write his little circle on the front, so P. And then we have the Q, so we're gonna draw the line coming down first. But because the queen wants to talk to the prince, we have to draw the circle this way. So here we have P and Q. And the last one we see here, the letters B and D. We see that both of them are what? Are tall letters, so we're gonna draw B first because B does the what? The walking, he doesn't get distracted. But it says that D does the talking, and so D over here, we're gonna draw that line first. And then because D wants to talk to B, we have to draw his face facing B. So here we have B because he's walking to do, do, do his little feet and then we're going to walk over here and then we're going to find the letter d and d is going to what he has something to say to the letter b awesome job right okay so we're going to begin with the letter n and the letter h okay the first thing that we notice about the letter n is that our stick is what it's shorter and then here the stick for h is longer now Something else that's really cool, you guys. The smaller stem, guess what? It makes me think of a flower. So here I'm going to draw a small flower. Very good, because it has a small stem. Now, because H has this big trunk, it makes me think of a tree. So here I'm going to draw a beautiful tree. Very good. And then later on, we can color our flower and our tree. All right, so the next letters that we see here are the letter T and the letter F. Say with me, T and F. We notice something that the T stands up what? He stands up tall, right? But with the F, guess what happens to the F, you guys? We see that he's kind of leaning over to the left. And you guys, you know why? It's because F is getting, he's tired and so he's falling. He's falling, falling, falling <gasps> asleep. Oh. I have to wake up, and so when I'm standing straight, I'm the letter T, but when I'm falling asleep, I'm the letter F. Next, we have the letters J and the letter G. And you guys, this is one that I noticed that sometimes we can get confused, okay? Because one makes us think of the next one. So this is J, here we see the capital J, and this is G, and here we see the capital G. So J makes me think of the word jumping and G makes me think of grandma and grandpa for the letter G so here we have the letter J right we notice that these are both letters with a tail but the J has a little point on the top and the G has a circle all right so our next example you guys are the letters P and the letter Q but what do we notice that P Right, if I'm looking this way, P is talking to Q. But if Q wants to answer back what, I have to turn on this side. And then Q is going to answer P. But you guys, there's something super cool about P and Q because it reminds us about a castle. And in this castle, there are two people. And do you guys know who they are? On this side for P, we have the prince. He's a prince, you guys, how awesome. And then for this side, you guys, we have the Q for queen. You guys, there's a queen. You guys, she's a queen. Super cool. So you guys, let's see. 
the prince is going to talk to the queen and the prince says, hello, beautiful queen. Oh, right. And then the queen is going to say, hello, handsome prince. Mm -hmm. And then the prince is going to say what to the queen? He's going to say, what's your name, beautiful queen? And the queen is going to say, well, my name is queen. What? You guys don't have a name for her? Let's say that her name is queen Sophia. I like that one, right? Queen Sophia. And then the prince is going to say, queen Sophia. It's so nice to meet you, right? And then we're going to come back over here and the queen is going to ask the prince, Prince, what's your name? And then we're going to go back over here and the prince is going to say, my beautiful queen, my name is Prince. I, I don't have a name, you guys. What could it be? My name is Prince Alejandro. I like that one, right? And so they're both going to say, it's so nice to meet you. Oh my goodness. All right, you guys. So here we have the letter B and the letter D. So what is it? B and D. All right. And sometimes we say that B does the walking. So B is walking. But D, he's distracted. And it says that D is what? He's talking, talking, talking. So he's not walking, he's talking. So that means that B does the walking, 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 walking. And D does the, he does the talking, talking, talking. So it says that the letter B, if we put our fingers like this, this is the letter B and this is the letter D. So say it with me, B and D, B. B and D, D. B can see the letter D, right? So B and D are looking at each other. So you guys, if B, what, was in the shape of a D, and what, and D was in the shape of B, they couldn't look at each other, right? But when B is in the correct place, and D is in the correct place, they can what? They can see each other. So, do we want them like this? This is when B and D are angry, you guys, and they don't want to talk to each other. Look, they don't want to talk to each other, and so they're giving each other their, what, their backs. They're like, I don't want to talk to you, right? Ah. All right, so here I have a stick, and here I have a circle. So whenever I make the letter, I want you guys to scream the correct letter. Are you guys ready? All right, let's start with P. Great job. Q, awesome job. B and D. Now this time I'm not gonna help you guys, I'm just going to make the letter. Are you guys ready? All right. Awesome job, you guys. We just finished reviewing a few examples, you guys, but we also said one that there are three vowels, you guys, where we sometimes get confused. So here we have the vowel A, say it with me, A, I, say it with me, I. And so I is also standing up tall. The small case I, he's just the little I with a circle on top. So this is the letter I. Or e, say it with me, E. So this is a capital E. And then the small case E is also really cool because it's like the letter C, small case E, right? Small case E, very good. Now, the reason that we sometimes get mistaken, you guys, what do we say? Is because we're learning in Spanish and in English, right? And so let's practice so that you guys can see the correct order. All right, so we're gonna start with this one. So here we see that in English, this would be A, B, C. So here we have our small case A. The next one that we have is E, F, and G, right? And this is our focus letter. E, F, G. Say with me. E. Great job. And the last one we have is I, J, K. In English, it's I, right? It's not E. In English, it's I. Say with me. I. Great job. All right, so let's review these three one more time because now we know them. We have A, we have I, and we have E, excellent job. And so now that we practice those letters, you guys, here's what we're gonna do for our activity. I'm gonna show you guys a big flashcard. We're gonna look at the word and we're going to spell the word together. Fun, say it with me, fun. And let's spell it together. We have F-U-N. Again, F-U-N, fun. Okay, now the next word we have is the word girl. So here we have G, I R L. One more time. G I R L. Girl. Awesome job. 
The next word that we have is the word paint. So let's spell that together. P A I N T. Paint. One more time. P A I N T. Paint. The next word that we have is table. So here we have T A B L E. Table. One more time. T A B L E. Awesome job. So we saw here that we were able to what? To identify the correct word. Wasn't that fun? Before we finish today's class, we're actually going to review the story that we read on Thursday. And so we remember that the name of the story on Thursday was Dad is Mad. Does anybody remember why Dad was mad? Mm, I remember that there was a cat in the story. Before you guys tell me more, let's review because I want to make sure that you guys know how to find the information in the story. So let's look at the cover. And on this cover, you guys, we can see the what? We can see a picture and we can see the title. And in this case, the name of the story is Dad is Mad. But there's something really cool, you guys, because do we see that there's two letters that are the color red? Uh-huh. And so these letters are A and D. And so that's AFD, right? And that's part of our word family. All right, you guys. And so the next thing that the story is going to show us is what? Some of the word families that we can find in the story. So let's look at a few of them. Add. Sad. Sad. Mad. Mad. Dad. Dad. Bad. Bad. And so we can write these down as part of the word family. The next part is we go into the story and you guys, are we just supposed to watch the story? No, all right? Or just watch the pictures? Mm -mm. As the story is reading, you guys, we have to repeat with the story. Dad, Dad had, had a, a fan. fan. Then, then he, he had, had no, no fan. fan. Okay, and so, you guys, you're doing an amazing job. I'm so excited because we're going to keep learning so many new things, all right? But it's important for us, what? To be paying attention and to practice, practice, practice. We tap on a map. So that's going to be the story that you guys are reading today. And for our next class, you guys, something really cool is going to happen because we're going to, what? We're going to visit a place with a lot of animals. Think about it, you guys. Where it's a place with a lot of animals? That's a great question. So I'll see you guys for next class, you guys. Until then, continue being loving, obedient, diligent, okay? And what? Remember that God loves you guys so much, okay? And who else loves you? I do. Bye, you guys.